I actually started um, two and a half years ago when I was um, looking through my cluttered box of cashmere that had holes in it and I was trying to figure out what to do with it. I did not want to throw it away. It's very beloved and um, I, you know, sleep in a lot of it. That's why it had holes in it. And so I decided to make myself a, a poncho. I'm just throwing these different pieces together. I was going to make a blanket and I ended up making a poncho and it was really cool and some people started to tell me how it was complimenting it basically and saying I should sell them. And so I started thinking about it and decided that I would, you know, finish making my pile of cashmere and make, I made I think like four, four or five cashmeres and um, took them to a store and they loved them and they sold them and I started buying more and making more and they just haven't stopped selling so I just keep making them and I, I, I really love doing it. It's very creative and it's a lot of fun. The yeah. process is I buy a lot, big bulk amount of cashmere um, and I take the ones that have holes in it and I and I cut them up. Um, I, I actually, I, I wash them and I steam them, make sure they don't have any moths or anything. And then I um, take the ones that don't have any holes and I actually, you know, refurbish them and resell them for a really great price, really a lot less than what you'd normally pay for cashmere. And the ones that have holes in them, I cut them up and I just, I, I make dresses, I make scarves, I make ponchos, just you know, whatever I feel like. It's, it's quite a creative process. I don't have a, you know, a, a, a um, form or anything. I just place them on the table and I look at them by eye. I don't really use a measuring tape or anything. I just, it's almost like painting, you know, just putting these pieces together and they kind of make themselves. Sometimes I ask them what they want to be made. It's, it's a luxury item. It's the only thing that I can wear that doesn't scratch me. Wool irritates me and makes my skin turn red. Um, I hate synthetic fabrics. Um, anybody that I've ever given a hug to who's wearing cashmere, I just don't want to take my hands off them. So that's always a plus if you, <laughs> if you want more hugs, wear more cashmere. <laughs> um, it, it's, you know, it's expensive. You know, there's different grades of cashmere too. I've learned a lot about it. And the good stuff is just like butter. and It keeps you really warm, but not too hot and you just feel really kind of sexy and, and rich in it. Every one is different. Here's one, um, it's got a crown on the back. I go a little crazy with this kind of stuff, but I also do really plain ones. Um, here's a blue, blue, bluey gray one, it's got a cross on the back. It's for my, my rock and roll people. Very typical, you know, sort of Mexican looking poncho. Very nice, pretty color. Here's a, I did a whole rock and roll line of like tattoo, you know, skull and crossbones. Beautiful. Lately I've been doing these appliques that I really like. So if this has a hole in it, I'll, I'll cover it with an applique. So I'll sew the back of it so the hole is nice and tight and then put the applique on. I'm going to be making something with this. This would be a cool poncho. This is a, a company called Joystick. She hand embroiders all of these. Um, I do a lot of stuff with Argyle as well. Argyle, and then I also use, um, I put ohm signs on the back. I don't have any to show you right now, but um, you know, just, just, just every single time I pick one up, I do just something different. Here's one. This one actually still has the tags on it. Fun, creative process. And I've got some down here that I'll be making some something with. I'm not sure what exactly, but wow, that's this is fun. Isn't that cool?